What's up with you too, fam? Man, I'm back again with another video. Look, man, one of my supporters hit me up with this video this morning. He was just telling me that it was a situation where a guy had leased his car out. And when he leased it out, they tried to steal it and he caught them. You know what I'm saying? He was trying to tell me certain things, but he just left it vague because he knows it's a reaction video. Which I always tell y'all, I, I appreciate y'all for not telling me exactly what's going on. Because it kind of takes away from the video and my reaction. So, yeah. But anyways, man, we're going to go ahead and get into this situation right here. I'm going to tell y'all what I feel about it during the video and after the video. So, if you don't want to hear me talking at any point in time during this video, this on my channel. All you got to do is just get up off here and go find it somewhere. So, if you can find it. If you can't find it, it's on you. I really don't give a damn about you know it. So, it is what it is. But to all my loyal supporters and my new supporters, man, y'all already know I'm not talking to y'all when I say that. All I want y'all to do is hit that like button for me and tell me what y'all feel about everything in the comment section. And add up my social medias as well. My Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. And my second YouTube channel. Everything I'm in the comment section if y'all want to add those. If y'all don't want to add none of that, I ain't doing no tripping on none of that. But let's get into the situation and see what the hell going on, man. These damn thieves. When you let someone rent your car on Turo and they try oh, to steal parts. This ain't the least here. This on, this on Turo. What the hell? Yeah, somebody's doing something to my car. I later found out they have a website that sells Tesla parts and exotic car parts. Ah. Uh, Excuse me, sir. What are you doing in my car? This is even fun. What are you doing to my car? Uh, you're testing something? Yeah. Testing, testing something. Uh, you ain't supposed to be testing a goddamn thing. What the hell? Because it seems like you're replacing some stuff. <laughs> yeah, he is. Trust me. Should, oh, I, be, should I be worried? Should I be calling the cops? Or? Excuse me? Should I be worried about this? Should I be calling the cops? <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Uh, I'm just testing some, some parts. You're not supposed to do shit yeah, in my car. I don't think this is allowed when you're renting out a car. You said it was for a trip. Yeah, I have a trip. I have gone, gone outside and come back for a test trip. For what? For a test trip. Because I don't, you shouldn't be doing this, sir. Like this is this is against the rules and regulations. Take my shit down. Fuck out, let he too nice. Take it yeah, down. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. It's my first time. Yeah. So, okay. All right. I I told him. He said what? Call the cop. This is first time, boy. <laughs> Line fucker. Let's get back into it. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm sorry, I didn't know that. It's my first time. Yeah. So, okay. All right. I I told him. To call the cops, okay. so I'm gonna have them. He's scared come now. Here he just throw four in everywhere. Um, I'm gonna have my car back today. Okay, I put it back. If not, it's gonna be like mm -hmm. a, a bigger charge. Forget today. I want it now. Take it down now. Abort this goddamn contract. Whatever the hell we got going on, and let you get my car on tour. None of that. He lucky that they do this. Slap the hell out of him. What's his name? Frank Vids. Shout out to Frank Vids, man. You know what I'm saying? I guess this is TikTok name. Y'all go show him some love, man. But yeah, this shit right here ain't what's up, bro. Don't you ever take my goddamn car and put it up. Like, like what the hell is you doing, boy? You supposed to be driving it. You feel me? And this dude was finna go and do everything he had to do with this whole car and bring it back. And it was gonna look down there like he was looking before it left. You know what I'm saying? He's very, very lucky that he ran into somebody like Frank because if it was another person, that dude would have been on the goddamn floor <laughs> for sure. Been done got whooped out there, bro, for real. You can't be doing people calls like that. I mean, he just got to sit up like his heels, you know what I'm saying? Got the car parts laid out, left, they big old chilling, <laughs> and then they got a website for this type of stuff, boy. Man, they ass needs to go to jail. Let's get back into it, though. Okay. He calm yeah. as hell. Okay. Is there any batteries that you replaced? Uh, no, I'm, I'm, not replaced. I'm just testing the bumpers. Testing the bumpers? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I, I, I just went wrong. Well, why are you taking it out? I want to your car. Yeah. It's another bump on yeah. there, it look like. Oh, you should have let me know, you know? You should at least let me know so I, I'm aware of what's going on. Don't touch my shit, no. Because, for sure I'm going to have, I'm going to need this replaced, like that, and I'm going to need my car today. Okay, what time? Okay. Now. Uh, I can probably have it back like two hours. Two hours? Mm. Okay. We're gonna be here. We're gonna be here. We're not gonna leave. Straight up. So we want it back. Okay. okay? Yeah, no problem. All right. Thank you. Sorry about that. Ain't call the police. How I found out someone was messing with my Tesla after renting it. Yeah, how did you find that? I gotta go to this. Okay, so I'm gonna start by saying that this was my first time renting my car on Turo. 
and this guy he told me hey I'm gonna book the car for my short trip so that's what I'm assuming he's doing right as soon as the guy picks it up he <laughs> takes it straight to a mechanic shop so but and I thought that was weird but I gave him the benefit of the doubt I'm like hey maybe that's like his job and he just happens to be parked around a mechanic shop not actually working on the car in the mechanic shop so I gave him the benefit of the doubt but then it was one in the morning and it was still there so uh, I'm like hey I'm gonna drive by you know yeah, I'm a little yeah. worried I mean it's my first time renting the car out on Turo and my car's in an auto shop at one in the morning so I drove by so this is me at one in the morning at the location. I drove by to see if maybe I could see my car outside parked, uh, but it wasn't, it was in one of the garages. So uh, that's when I decided that next day I was gonna go check it out and see if I find my car. And for those of you that keep asking, yes, I did call the police, but they said since they didn't know the details of the rental agreement and they didn't know what parts were stolen, that they couldn't send anybody out and that it was a civil matter. I wanted them to come out for my own safety, but they didn't want to do that. So Ooh, that's shit. California for you. And also Tesla and Toro have been helping me out the whole time. They've been really helpful. They, at worst, nothing's gonna come out of my pocket. They're making sure that all the invoices are being sent, that they're covering all the costs, the guy's covering all the costs. Um, and I did get my vehicle inspected. Uh, I'm still waiting on that, so especially because of that, I'm not saying, I'm not gonna say the guy's name, I'm not gonna say the guy's company, because I'm not gonna bash somebody in, until I'm 100% sure of what they did. Yeah, straight uh, But it. whether they stole something or not, at the end of the day, you guys need to know that if it's not your vehicle, you shouldn't be tampering with it, because at best, it's vandalism. And I don't know about you guys, but for me, I only want Tesla to touch my car because when you move something around, you need to get it recalibrated. Ideally, you want someone that's certified in Tesla to work on it. And he didn't really care about that. So that's why I put the video out there because I want you guys to stay safe if you guys are renting out your vehicle. Uh, for me personally, I'm not gonna rent my vehicle out anymore. It's not <laughs> worth it for me. I did it because, you know, I had a lot of friends that were making good money from it and I'm like, oh, let me give it a try. For me, it's not worth it. But if for you guys, if you guys find that it's worth it, Dang, that's the end of the video, man. Shout out to him. You know what I'm saying? He handled the situation with a lot of integrity. You know, I mean, even though he had every right to bash him, say whatever he wanted to say and all that other type of stuff, he still handled it the right way. You know what I'm saying? The professional way, I put it like that, because, you know, there's no right or wrong way to act when it's got something to do with your situation and your money and everything. You know what I'm saying? I mean, shit, if he would have slapped him, I wouldn't have gave a damn. You know what I'm saying? I would have been cool with that, too. You know what I'm saying? But I'm glad he handled it like that. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I know a lot of people going to be talking mess about him being so calm and relaxed, but everybody's not confrontational. You know what I'm saying? Well, I ain't going to say a lot of people saying that because a lot of people are understanding over here on my channel. But, you know, the new people that might come in and say certain things, you know, you got to understand that people are not just always confrontational. You know what I'm saying? Especially when we don't have to be. A lot of shit ain't even worth your energy. So I can respect how they moved in this situation. I hate that they messed up a business experience for him. You know, I kind of hate that he let that discourage him from moving forward. But it is understandable. Because people got so much on their plate as it is. Then to have to deal with extra bullshit it just ain't necessary right now. Or it's not wanted. You know, so I can understand all the way around. But uh, yeah, man, y'all go rock with him. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go over there and check out his TikTok right now. To see if he got any other new videos about the situation. Any updates on it and stuff like this. So yeah. But I want to know what y'all feel about everything in the comment section. Man, y'all like Comment, subscribe if you like my commentary. If you don't like my commentary, don't give a damn. I'll holler at y'all later on another video, though. All right. And, man, to y'all dudes, bro, that I've been seeing, people been sending me y'all links and stuff, man, showing me that y'all doing the same exact videos that I'm doing. That shit's so weird, bro. I know videos is all over the world, and we can do what we want to do with them and stuff like that. But, damn, bro, you know what I'm saying? We can tell that y'all watching them and saying what I'm saying. That shit weird, bro. Just chill. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Damn. Be original, you know? But, uh, yeah, man, I want to know what y'all feel about everything in the comment section. Man, I'll holler at y'all later, though. Stop copying me, bro. That shit lame. When right. you let someone rent your car on Turo, and they try to steal parts. That somebody's doing something to my car? I later found out they have a website that sells Tesla parts and exotic car parts. Excuse me, sir. 
What are you doing to my car? Excuse me? What are you doing to my car? Uh, I'm testing something. You're testing something? Yeah. What are you testing? Uh, on the front bumper. Because it seems like you're replacing some stuff. Should I should I be worried? Should I be calling the cops or? Excuse me. Should I be worried about this? Should I be calling the cops? Careful. Uh, I'm just testing some some parts. Because I don't think this is allowed when you're renting out a car. You said it was for a trip. Yeah, I have a trip. I have gone gone uh, oh, sorry. I can come back for a test fit. For what? For a test fit. Because I don't you shouldn't be doing this sir. Like this is this is against the rules and regulations of it. Oh yeah? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't know that. This is my first time. Yeah. So okay. Alright. I, I told her to call the cops. Okay. So yeah. I'ma have them come here to see what's going on. Um, I'm gonna want my car back today. Okay, I'll put it back. If not, it's gonna be like a, a bigger charge. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Is there any batteries that you replaced? Uh, no, I'm gonna have. I'm just testing the bumpers. Testing the bumpers? Yeah. But you shouldn't be doing that. That's not your car. Yeah, I, 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 I just won't follow it. Well, why are you taking it out? It's not your car. Yeah. Yeah, or you, yeah. or you should have let me know, you know? You should at least let me know so I, I'm aware of what's going on. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Because for sure I'm going to have, I'm going to need this replaced, like back, and I'm going to need my car today. Okay, what time? Okay. Uh, I can probably have it back like about two hours. Two hours? Yeah. Okay. We're going to be here. We're going to yeah. be here. We're not going to leave. Okay, all right, sure. So we want it back. Okay. Okay? Yeah, no problem. All right. Thank you. Sorry about that. Yeah. How I found out someone was messing with my Tesla after renting it. Okay, so I'm going to start by saying that this was my first time renting my car on Turo. And this guy, he told me, hey, I'm going to book the car for my short trip. So that's what I'm assuming he's doing, right? And as soon as the guy picks it up, he takes it straight to a mechanic shop. So, but, and I thought that was weird. But I gave him the benefit of the doubt. I'm like, hey, maybe that's like his job and he just happens to be parked around a mechanic shop, not actually working on the car in the mechanic shop. So I gave him the benefit of the doubt. But then it was one in the morning and it was still there. So I'm like, hey, I'm going to drive by. You know, I'm a little worried. I mean, it's my first time renting the car out on Turo and my car's in an auto shop at one in the morning. So I drove by. So this is me at one in the morning at the location. I drove by to see if maybe I could see my car outside parked, uh, but it wasn't, it was in one of the garages. So uh, that's when I decided that next day I was gonna go check it out and see if I find my car. And for those of you that keep asking, yes, I did call the police, but they said since they didn't know the details of the rental agreement and they didn't know if parts were stolen that they couldn't send anybody out and that it was a civil matter i wanted them to come out for my own safety but they didn't want to do that so that's california for you and also tesla and toro have been helping me out the whole time they've been really helpful they at worst nothing's gonna come out of my pocket they're making sure that all the invoices are being sent that they're covering all the costs the guy's covering all the costs um and i did get my vehicle inspected uh i'm still waiting on that so especially because of that i'm not saying i'm not gonna say the guy's name i'm not gonna say the guy's company because i'm not gonna bash somebody in, until i'm 100 percent sure of what they did uh but whether they stole something or not at the end of the day you guys need to know that if it's not your vehicle you shouldn't be tampering with it because at best it's vandalism and i don't know about you guys but for me i only want tesla to touch my car because when you move something around you need to get it recalibrated ideally you want someone that's certified in tesla to work on it and he didn't really care about that 
So that's why I put the video out there because I want you guys to stay safe if you guys are renting out your vehicle. Uh, for me personally, I'm not going to rent my vehicle out anymore. It's not worth it for me. I did it because, you know, I had a lot of friends that were making good money from it. And I'm like, oh, let me give it a try. For me, it's not worth it. But if for you guys, if you guys find that it's worth it.